hi guys welcome back again to the channel good morning it's morning by the time i'm making this video um yeah i've been trying to make this vlog i remember two weeks ago was it last week i tried filming a week in my life as a social worker but the video was everywhere i was just filming videos in my car telling you guys i'm leaving the house to the office and then i forget to vlog so and um i just want to make do this it's, it's been a video someone some people have requested this video in time past and it's something i've wanted to film and i want to do it before going on um maternity leave um you know what i mean so i decided to do it today although today yesterday was very bad for me um this third trimester is hitting me left right and center i don't know but i hope it doesn't get um worse or as bad as first trimester but so far it's not been the best yesterday i couldn't do anything it was supposed to be my study day but i didn't do anything i started having morning sickness all of a sudden the kind of morning sickness i never had during my first trimester it's really been bad um this is 8 14 yeah I finished praying with my husband for over 30 minutes ago. It's just for me to go and enter the shower. I'm dreading to brush my teeth, <laughs> to be honest, because of course this morning I've had an episode of morning sickness. Gosh, this never happened to me this way. Yesterday, oh my gosh, was another one. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> um yeah anyways i hope to vlog but i just wanted to start it off and i hope i complete it because i have this bad habit of starting a vlog and never finishing it um yeah hopefully i'm going to enter the shower now before it's set yeah, i should be done my brother is helping me make my lunch just boiling rice you know that i'll take to work and work today is going to be very hectic the way I woke up this morning feeling and the way I was feeling yesterday, I wanted to call in sick. But I have a lot on my desk. A lot today. Oh my gosh. I don't even want to start thinking about it. Although, um, I hope I'll feel better. To be honest, I've told myself if I get to the office and I'm not having it, I'll tell my manager and I'll leave. So I have a lot. I have visit from 10 a.m., till when like loads of visits meetings all piled up today um so let's see how it goes so hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog a day in my life as a children and family social worker yeah um i'll see you guys later so guys as you can see i'm dressed for work it's friday by the way and um as much as possible when i can i wear my ankara to work on friday yeah um, yeah, you guys have seen this movie before, made by my sweet mother. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just here to pack my lunch. My brother has finished boiling rice, so I'll just pack it, then pack my fruit. And, um, yeah, I don't even know what to eat for breakfast. I sincerely do not know. I usually struggle every morning with breakfast and I need to eat I'm going to by 10 o'clock this is almost 9 now. but I'm foreseeing I might work late today depending on how my health goes um, not working late like I'll have a late visit I'm foreseeing that because I have a meeting and, um, maybe I'll tell you guys about that after the meeting but I don't feel like it, but I have to. That is my strength. So let me just pack my my lunch and then um, yeah. <laughs> fruits. I wanted to take mango but I couldn't cut it so I'm just taking this pear and apple. I snack on it. This popcorn I'm going to keep it in my car because um, like I said I have loads of visits today so probably whenever I nip into car after fun I'll just put it in my mouth because I'll be really busy today. 
so i decided to just eat the same thing i'm having for lunch because i couldn't think of any breakfast lately i've not been drinking cereals it's not doing it for me so i'm going to eat um, my white rice and chicken sauce chicken curry sauce and then a cup of tea you see here uh, during my first trimester i wasn't drinking any hot drink but towards the end of my second trimester i said let me start trying all these stuff like chicken and the rest and i've been drinking tea tea bag for those in uk you know tea bag i'm not able to drink hot chocolate still it's just tea bag and i drink it every morning no matter what i'm eating i must have a cup of tea so i'll just eat now and uh, maybe the next time you guys will see me i'll be heading out I've actually gone into the office, spent like 20 25 minutes, I guess, and um, started coming out on this visit. I told you guys I have, so I'm just leaving it. Um, the map says it's 17 minutes drive from the office, so I'm going to that visit now, and it's almost 10 o'clock. The visit is by 10, so I'll get there on or before 10. So Come with me and let's go there. Yeah, it's actually raining this morning. Not like a serious rain. It's just drizzling. Oh, I hope that VC doesn't take so long. I hope so. Um, all things being equal, like from the look, it shouldn't. Um, it really should not. But sometimes you can't predict visits. You just can't predict visits, to be honest. You can't, no. Because sometimes you get parents that talk. I'm just being careful. I don't want to say that talk a lot. But it's what it is, isn't it? So, um, so I don't know how this one is going to be. But I hope it's quick. Because after that one, I have another one by 11.30. The one by 11.30 is just around the corner. It's like five minutes or less than five minutes drive um, from the office yeah now only just five minutes drive from the office so um, I hope to come back to the office and make some calls before going out on that one so if this visit finishes early I'll be able to go back to the office before doing that otherwise I'll head straight to that one yeah so that's it guys I'll catch up with you guys later hey guys I'm done with my visit like I always do top every visit I want to sanitize my hand oh gosh surely some houses I just do that too I don't know. <laughs> Probably it's um, psychological. Just try to make myself feel clean. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this visit went so quick. You won't believe the time. It's 10 36. Yeah. So um, I definitely finished on time. I'm going back to the office. I should be back in the office if I leave now, roughly 11 ish, before on or before 11 o'clock, definitely. Yeah, 15 minutes drive, the map says. So I'll have a few minutes to make all these urgent calls before nipping out for my other visit by 11.30. Hopefully the visit goes well. Um, I'll be needing an interpreter, which I've requested. I'm not sure if I go one face-to-face. -face. So I need an interpreter um, for that very one. Um, yeah, so that's it. This tells you one of the reasons why you need a car. In social work you need a car you can't like it makes life easier you know sometimes I try to reflect on um, 
I tried to reflect on the days when I, I wasn't driving yet. Yeah, so when I reflect on those days when I wasn't driving and how easy my job has been since I started driving, I don't just know what to say. But overall, I thank God because it's been all better. I'll catch up with you guys later. So maybe when I'm out on my second VC. So guys, here yeah, I'm back. I've been smelling of I don't know smoke. Of course, I went to a how do I how do I call it like a house where they smoke and I think they just finished smoking before I entered. And oh my gosh, I've just been smelling smoke. <laughs> I couldn't wait to pack and spray some. Uh, yeah, these are some of the things I do. Yeah, sanitize my hand and um, put some body spray on my body because I was just smelling. It's as if like it's on me and it might just be my nose because I stayed there for like 30 minutes plus. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going into the office, make some quick calls, then I'm out again on this second visit of the day. And when I come back from that one, I have a meeting, a strategy meeting. Um, yeah, that's it. See you later. Hey guys, so um, I'm done with my second visit. Literally, this is past 12 and I have the next meeting by 1. Um, should we get into the office before 11, before 12.30 because it's just three minutes drive. Um, yeah. Everything went well. Everything is going well so far. Um, yeah. Oh, so that I'm so tired. I've just been stressed past twelve. So I'll just go back to the office, try and have my dinner, my lunch, then go for that meeting. After that meeting, I have another meeting. Um, from that and that meeting might require me to visit the children today. So I have a lot still ahead of myself, but we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, what a busy day. It's classic FM. So heading back now to the office. Literally three minutes drive <laughs> to the office. As I am here, I'm seeing my office already. Yeah, seeing it already. I don't know why it's raining today. It's just rain, 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 rain. Then imagine if I don't have a car. I've actually experienced it, so it's not just about imagination. <laughs> I've worked, I've been in this job and not have a car, and I have to jump from one bus to the other. And it's crazy. It's crazy. So if you're a student social worker and you are watching this and you don't have a car yet, and you are planning to work in children's social care, Please, oh, try. You start writing your tests, the theory and the practical. It will save you a lot. So, I just feel like this vlog is just all about me being in the car and telling you guys what I'm doing. But if I go down to eat now, the dining will be very busy. And I can't bring out my camera. I'll be too shy to do that or too conscious. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. But... I would have loved to at least have a different clave outside my car. <laughs> but you guys can see, really, I've not spent up to, in total, today, I've barely spent an hour in the office today. And that's what it's like a day like this. But Monday, Tuesday, I don't think I'll be having any visits. Not any, I've not planned any now. So, the Monday and Tuesday, all I'm going to do is to do admin. Look, all these things, all these visits I've been going to, I need to write them down. And I've not done that. So, um, it's another thing. But so for me, oh, I enjoy, I'm in the office now. For me, uh, I enjoy doing this job being out and about what i don't like especially is the admin part typing and writing up all of this i don't like it nah, i don't like it <laughs> so i wish my job is just to go out and that's it unfortunately 
it's not it's you still have to you still have to you know write 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 the admin part that's the one everyone like what kind of not really struggle guys i'm so bad with packing oh my gosh look at this car some will be wondering what are you doing you got it right i'm so bad with packing and for whatever reason i'm a perfectionist in packing i just have to make sure i pack straight up and well positioned into the bay <laughs> that's me <laughs> sometimes you can see me going back and forth and all of that oh guys heading back into the office now 12 25 then probably have my dinner my lunch mm. then get ready for this meeting by one it's a strategy meeting um yeah so strategy meeting is a meeting that you hold when you have significant concerns about a child or children then police health education and social care are the ones to be invited in that meeting then we discuss the worries and everything then all the agencies these professionals decide whether threshold is met for section four to seven mm -hmm. so that means that the child is likely to suffer significant harm or has suffered significant harm so all the agencies will unanimously make that decision it's not social care that's why i usually tell people it's not just social workers that make that decision <laughs> it's everybody police health education yeah um, and of course depending on the case for instance this one probation is coming because of the nature of the case sometimes we have other agencies partner agencies apart from but these are the four major agencies there that we come for that meeting then when we decide that then another work begins so that's why most times if section 47 is agreed you need to see that child within for 24 hours and tomorrow is saturday so that's why i might have a late visit going out later today to go and see these kids mm -hmm. to go and see them hopefully i see all of them that's another like. and then i start doing what we call section 47 investigation or inquiries it can be single agency it can be well, this is not the purpose of this video, is it? <laughs> I'm not explaining the process. I think I have a video where I have done that before. And um, you guys should go and check it out, you know, to understand these whole processes. If you understand this, you won't be hating social workers. Yeah, you won't. We're just doing our job, trying to safeguard kids. And we don't have any ulterior motive. <laughs> Guys, the last time you saw me i just finished eating i had a series of meetings including the meeting i told you guys i had by one it was quite a long meeting because of the nature of this case it's a very big case to be honest and of course we agreed on section 47 so i needed to go and see these kids after the meeting i had another meeting that was cancelled i used that opportunity to start typing up some of my visits writing some major case notes and then i left the office few minutes before five o'clock to go out on this visit but upon reaching to the home as i expected it mom didn't let me into the house so i had to sit and go back sit in the car and had to call out of hours out of hours workers are social workers qualified social workers they work from 5 p.m till 9 a.m the following day so in case you are wondering social workers is it only in the morning like 9 to 5 no there are some of them that also work at night and they work over the weekend yeah that's what they do we call them out of hours social workers so i needed to make sure that i ring them and update them because these kids actually need to be seen and that was what i was doing in this in this um clip but it didn't really go so well yeah thank you so much 
Yeah. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, guys. I've been sat in this car for over 30 minutes. Look what time it is. Oh my gosh, this is not clear enough, is it? Let me show you guys. 17.48. This is almost 6 o'clock. Wow. To so think that I left this visit around 7.10 past because mom wouldn't let me in. So while I've been sat here doing this, of course, I needed to feed back to my manager to tell her the outcome of the visit. We are in section 47. We had that meeting and um, we needed to see the children within 24 hours and uh, mom wouldn't let me in as expected anyways so i needed to tell my manager you know this reminds me of my video on social work interview what should you do you, you went out and the family wouldn't let you in so yeah i spoke with her though i need to put out of hours request for them to come out because it's friday i actually made that request because even if she had let me in today because of the nature of the case we still needed them to come out and all of that so I've been sat here calling the number. It keeps taking me to housing for whatever reason. Trying housing, any connect housing. So thankfully I had to ask um, on the group page and they gave me number of the worker on ground. I had to call her personally and make that request. Ooh, so um, this is one case I'm dreading. I'm dreading it, but I'm enjoying it at the same time because it will give me a different experience. Um, yeah, it's quite a difficult one and um where it's heading i don't really like it but it's what it is at the end of the day so guys i can now scream thank god it's friday <laughs> oh my gosh i can't believe i did this vlog and i hope when i edit it i'm happy with it and i'll be releasing it but it's been amazing what a day very busy day very busy day but i feel fulfilled because i achieved a lot at least i tried to i, I typed one major case notes mm, big achievement for me and then yeah i'm actually where i am now let me where's my my phone oh my gosh where's my phone let me see how far it's from home and it's really raining it's pouring literally and i, I need to use the toilet I'm really pressed to pee. So from here to the house is how many minutes drive? Oh my gosh. Guys, you don't want to know. 24 minutes drive. That's what it is. <laughs> 9.1 miles away. Yeah. Of course, this place is actually far from my office. From my house to my office is 12 to 13 minutes drive. Yeah roughly with no traffic 12 minutes drive and then from there to here is about 17 minutes drive so it's equally the same way i'm going back um yeah so that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this that's what my day is definitely um i'll be getting home um from what the map is saying i'll be getting home 6 15 see so something that should have been nine to five is not nine to five and imagine if i had gone into this for this visit i don't know how long i would have spent in there anyways and then driving back home so i'll be getting home past six which is not bad some days i go back i get back home around 8 pm rare it's common to get home around past six around seven ish yeah but some worst case scenarios you'll get back home around eight or to nine really bad that's duty and assessments um for you or social work generally to be fair especially in the children's sector so anyways guys thank you guys for watching this video let me know if you like it hope you did i enjoyed a few minutes don't forget to like the video subscribe share and comment all right and i'll be seeing you guys next time till then stay blessed remain intentional and take good care of yourselves bye